going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D up here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. It's still raining, which is so sad. I did check the TV, though, and it does say, uh, what does it say? Current, yeah, it's raining, blah, 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 rainy, foggy. Tomorrow, the weather will be clear and dry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> About time. Hopefully, that actually happens. I'm not sure if it will, but... I've heard this mod has some issues, but anyway, hello everybody. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, I had a lot of people that were, I don't know if upset is the right word, not incredibly happy that Penny was picked as the, as the winner, but with over 50 votes, you know, I don't know how much more fair I can make things, but, uh, Willie, I've got some new items in stock, a deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. Cool. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. Why, thank you, Willie. I I might. Y you might see me soon. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna save... Uh... I don't know. A few of things. I, I have no idea. And <laughs> my watering can can go away because I clearly don't need it. Anyway, you know how I was saying towards the end of yesterday's episode that uh, I you typically won't see me do more than two days in an episode uh unless like the planets align um uh, i'm gonna do three up three days today because i'm sick and tired of this rain and i want to get to the community center and so if it's going to be sunny tomorrow we should hopefully get what is this oh that's cool that's so awesome pelican town to calico desert seven days a week from 10 10 which is when pam gets here to five o'clock Festival days may affect regular scheduling. That's so cool and so accurate, too. Anyway, I'm sick and tired of this rain, and if anyone's played Stardew Valley before, which I feel like almost everyone here probably has, the first day you go to the community center, you can't actually do anything with the community center. You just have to go visit the wizard on the following day, and then you can go back and you can actually interact with the bundles and stuff. So, I need two days. One day of sunshine, and then another day after that. So, I'm just going to play today... You're not going to miss much. I'm going to go give a gift to Penny. Uh, yesterday I gave her a dandelion, I believe. So I'm going to give her whatever I didn't give her as far as produce goes. Yeah, okay. I gave her a daffodil. What is that little blue, little blue icon? I don't know what that is. But I'm going to go find her. And then I'm going to spend my day fishing. Like literally all day fishing. I'm hoping to catch some fish. <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like I needed to clarify that, but I'm going to hopefully catch a lot of fish, sell them, make some money, and then we can get a backpack tomorrow, which would be awesome. Alongside with our first sunny day in forever. I hope you guys like rain, because Climates of Ferngill has a lot of it. But I, I do really enjoy it. It really changes Sturdy Valley. So, anyway, I'm going to gift Penny, I'm going to fish, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I don't... Oh! Hi, Penny. You, you caught me talking about my plan. Thank you. This looks special. You're welcome. The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. It's soothing, though. Oh, I could totally... I totally know what she means. It's so satisfying. Ooh, okay, so she does like that. Okay, and then the Penny's favorites will probably show all liked and loved gifts, not just loved. Cool, so she does like dandelions more than she likes daffodils that's so cool that you i love this it's so neat anyway like i said I, i'll almost never do this it'll almost always be two days but this is just a time sensitive thing i want to get the community center going because petty go around because i've got so much work to do on it and we will see why so without further ado i'm gonna fish the day away and i We'll see you tomorrow with hopefully better news than soggy news papers. Haha. -ha. Alright, I had a productive day. Look at that, made almost a grand. Actually, I made more than a grand, because in addition to this, I actually sold some stuff to Willy as well. And now we can afford a backpack, which is so exciting. I actually think you might have seen that in that little clip of Willy I just showed, because I think we made over two grand while selling stuff to him, but oh gosh, please no rain. Please, mod, have correct forecasts. <gasps> oh my gosh. Finally. Oh, and guess what I missed? Queen of Sauce yesterday. Oops. I'm bad at that. 
Uh, current conditions? Oh, clear skies. I haven't seen that in so long. Oh, tomorrow's clear and dry as well with higher temperatures. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, Mr. Hats. Okay, Pokey. Come to old house. Old, old, old house, Pokey. Bring coinies. Hat mouse. Sure thing, dude. Whatever you say. Okay. I have to water crops. Guys, that's exciting. I'm going to water all these blank spots because I'm going to fill them with stuff. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Everything's done. Beautiful. Look at how much money I've got. Over three grand. That means backpack things are happening today. And I want to make another chest, but I'm a little tight on wood. You can see I've got 300 on me, though. I think I did that on camera, actually. I've got... Well, no. No, I didn't. Holy butterflies. That's a lot of butterflies. Some of them are modded in, so it's to be expected. But I like that. That's so cool. They don't do so great with some of the scenery, but they look awesome. I love them. Oh, and I did end up getting rid of those mice because, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, two different statements. Oh my goodness, the rats were annoying, and oh my goodness, this is exciting. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd be so excited to see a clear day just so I can get this started. What an eyesore. Oh, Lewis, don't worry. We'll fix it. Maybe it'll take three years or so, but I'll make it happen. I really don't think I'm going to be finishing this thing in two years. And I'll show you why tomorrow. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. How do you let a building get that neglected in a town as small as this? I don't know. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of a TV than engage with the community. That's your daily reminder to go outside and make friends. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. But you got that handlebar mustache, so it's totally okay, Lewis. You can sound like a fool any day. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Jojo Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. I've actually never done that. I feel like that's just such a boring route to go, but I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do it just to see what it's like, because I've literally never done it or even seen what it's like doing the Jojo Co. route. I just know you skip the community center bundles outright. It's pretty crazy. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. And to me, the community center is like one of the most fun parts about this game. It's your driving force in waking up and answering the question of, what do I want to do today? If you don't know, check a bundle and work towards that. Like, that's how it kind of works. But if you don't have a goal to work towards, then what are you doing? Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing here. No, 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 Lewis. It's not Vincent and Jazz. We know this already. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Boop. Little apple with legs. It's waving, too. I've never noticed that. That's adorable. <laughs> it's like, hi, notice me. I'm seeing things. I'm crazy. What's the matter? Are you ill? I'm losing my mind. I'm going crazy. You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. Uh, no, I actually got rid of that mod. But thanks, Lewis. <laughs> I love this cutscene. You're worrying me, Doc. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. What time is it? like eight something a.m. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Really? In a town they're so worried about a rat? Especially in an abandoned building? Strange. I'll have to come back. Why am I still reading that like Lewis? I'll have to come back and explore this building further. 
that's not Lewis telling me that. That's me telling me that. And we're actually going to do that right now. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I was taking a sip of water. That clearly didn't work so great. Okay. Cool. One thing I've noticed is that with... Uh, oh, wait. Just kidding. Now we can't see everything. Construction bundle. Sweet. Hoi, 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 now. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, 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 just kidding. That's not how that's read. But tomorrow we should get the letter from the wizard. I think it's the day after. So then we can go. Yeah, Lewis is eating breakfast at 8.30 in the morning. I think he's the crazy one. Not me for seeing things. All right. Oh my gosh. I love these butterflies. They're so cool. They add so much life and movement and I love it. Yeah, I know a lot about the people living here. What, what about them? That's one of the benefits of being a bartender. Sometimes I hear too much. No such thing as too much, Gus. Well, maybe that's maybe that's a lie. I don't know. But backpack, backpack. Also, hi, hi, Pierre. How's it going? I love that he wears his own shirt. Pierre's. It's great. Welcome. If you're looking for seeds, you've come to the right place. Yes, and I believe I need. I actually counted this time. Oh, 24 slots. The first time I ever played Stardew and I bought the 24 backpack slots, I thought it was going to add 24, not give me a total of 24. I was honestly slightly disappointed. But that's okay. Oh, gosh. It's amazing. I don't think I finished this thought last time I started it. Whenever I play this game, having one row is just totally unbearable. But two makes it so much better. I'm always in a rush to get that second backpack or the second row of inventory. But I'm never that in a rush to get the third. You can make do with the third. As long as you keep your activities to one thing at a time. Like if you just fish, you might fill up one row. If you just fish, it's rare that you'll ever fill up two. If you just go mining, you're totally going to fill up one row. If you just go mining... There's a chance you might fill up too, but it's not super common. Like, you can totally get by with just that. But anyway, oh, uh, what am I wanting to do? I don't know. Hold on. I know so many things. Okay, I need to buy seeds. That's what I'm doing, right? Um, and we have a lot of money. So I'm going to buy 13 of these, and then we're going to start on, oh, I don't know. We only have three beans, so let's get four beans. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to plan this out somewhat. It's it's going to be... And then we'll just do a bunch of parsnips, because we can. And can we make for, uh, sprinklers yet? We can make line sprinklers, but that's because of a mod, which require a regular sprinkler. So you can't make these ahead of time. You need the the actual recipe first, which is good. I think that makes sense. Hi, Abigail. Oh, I mentioned this in Discord the other day, which friendly, non-shameful plug at all. I've got a Discord. You should totally join. There's a lot of cool people that hang out and talk, and we're a fun bunch. Oh, hey, taking a break from work? Yes, I am, to say hi to you. I might, because people were very disappointed that Penny won. Others were very excited that Penny won in the vote. I might... Uh date them both? Not actually date them both? Like, not give them the whole bouquet or whatever you do to make them your significant other. But at least give them both gifts, play out some of their heart events, see which one I end up liking better. I do, as of today, not gonna lie, slightly biased towards Penny. I don't know why I kind of made that clear from the get-go. I thought I made it clear, maybe I didn't. But Penny was my favorite and the one I was kind of hoping would win. So she's currently my my primary love interest, but I I can maybe date both and you know see where things go, see what see what I think. For you guys though, not for me. It's not selfish at all. <laughs> anyway, I love animals, Mr. Doc. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Marty, I love you, except that you don't ever work at your shop like ever, because you're a bum. But that's okay. Did you know I was an all-star quarterback in high school? It's true. See this little star on my jacket here? That proves it. Alex, you're such a meathead. And I love you for it. 
Okay, have we met everyone yet? Is that a thing? I know we haven't met... Aha, everyone but the wizard. And we can do that hopefully tomorrow. Hold on, trash can. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> oh, right in time for Lewis to catch us red-handed. Except not, because we got out in time. Anyway, I've got 300 wood on me right now. And I want to go ahead and build the bridge. Because building bridges... There's an emerald on the... What the heck? How did that get there? Oh, I, I have a mod called Lunar Disturbances. It changes based on the phase of the moon, the odds of things that can wash up on the beach. I didn't know it added to the, the item pool of things that could spawn here. That's so cool. I freaking love the look of this water. It's so good. And all this, it just looks so good, guys. I'm so happy with the selection of mods that I'm using with just how it makes the game look. I'm, I'm very much loving it. And I'm going to continue tweaking things as we go. I don't think I've recorded an episode yet where I've maintained the same mod list from the episode prior. I'm constantly adding, removing, tweaking to make this exactly how I want it. And I might come across some broken stuff at some point and have to fix it, so... Oh, this is so beautiful. Inventory's great. Sam, aren't you happy for me? Aren't you happy for me? Dude, I have a name. It's not Farmer. But that's literally all he has to say is, hey, Farmer, that's okay. Ooh, it's a romance novel. Open to the first chapter. His eyes were shiny orbs. She fell in love instantly. Doesn't seem very good. I think I've read that already, actually, didn't I? Probably with different inflection, but that's okay. Anyway, I want to get my my farm a little more prepared. I know I mentioned last episode that in spring, I just kind of throw things down just to make money. And that's still kind of my plan. Because my whole crop structure here is just, it's a mess. I don't have straight, even lines of anything. And it's just, like I said, a mess. But I will fix that come... Oh, it's going to be nice. How many of these do I need? Uh, two, three, four. Did I just skip a spot? I totally did. Um, what am I saying? I'm still going to try to make this look decent. Uh, it's just the crops themselves won't be in perfect, neat little rows. Except for my beans, because they're on trellises, and those are so intrusive on everything else. So I like doing them on the ends, because they just look nicer. So... We're going to. And then I'm going to start working on some more. And with... Basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm keeping in mind the fact that I'm going to have sprinklers at some point. And I think I actually will do sprinklers, even the basic ones. Unless I get the better one. I don't know. Because the line sprinklers are so nice. I just do... I could do four on the sides. And then... Three, one, two, I'd have to move the scarecrow. I don't know, but I have an easy way of doing sprinklers on all these, and I think it's gonna work super nice. At least that's what I'm hoping. But let me get these watered up real quick and then figure out what I'm gonna do next because I have, well, do I have an idea of what I'm doing next? Not really, we have to wait until the wizard comes and talks to us. So we might do some mining, I might do some more fishing just to make some more money so we can get some more seeds. I don't know. The world is our oyster, but look at that. Uh, wait, you can get different quality... Wait, what? I didn't know you could get different quality... I'm so confused. Okay, but look at that. Fall foraging is coral. Since when do you need coral for fall foraging? I don't know. That might be a little sneak peek at the bundle, but we'll find out. I'm going to go to Clint real quick, and then the museum, and hopefully I can get there before 4 and take care of our geodes and our emerald just to get these out of my inventory. Oh, I love the Stardew Valley music so much. It's a good season to start thinking about gardening, even for us non-farmers. The valley is known for producing some of the finest spring flowers. Good thing I'm not growing any. You know what? I probably should grow some. That trash can animation is still, still my favorite. Anyway, I'm going to go get these processed and donate things, and hopefully we get some rewards, because I, I need those. Well, I don't need them, but I want them. Ooh, that's awkward. 
You need money to process geodes. I forgot about that. And I don't have money currently. <laughs> I have 15 gold to my name. So never mind on that. We're going to just donate our emerald, I guess. Because we have one. Might as well. Red, orange. Okay, how, ma how many rows are there? Let's, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not even going to count that. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Makes six. And then seven, eight, nine. So roughly two rows per. So red, orange, yellow, green. That is what I'm trying to do is math out how to rainbow my... <laughs> oh, I don't know. But um, I was starting to say this last episode, and you'll notice a theme, I never get through my thoughts. Um, you can change the layout of the museum somehow. Would you like to rearrange the museum's collection? Yes. So I can move it around as I see fit. So even if this layout ends up working terribly, I can fix it, which is going to be so nice. Ah, uh, crap. I don't have my fishing rod on me. I was going to say, I'm going to do some fishing. But what I should probably do instead is go chop some wood and make another chest and start getting slightly organized. Because that is something I like to do a lot of. Ooh, hi, Petty. Petty, come here. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Hi. Oh, did you want something? No. I just want to say hi. I'll say hi to Maru too, so she's right here. Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a walk. It's surprising how much a change of scenery can help. I don't know why I want to give... Ooh, is this Evelyn? I haven't seen her in a few days. <gasps> Look at Evelyn. She's so cute. She looks so old with the little hat. Little sun hat. Oh my. What a lovely day. Yes, Evelyn. It's such a nice day out. Anyway, I'm going to go put up my geodes like, well, should I hang on to them and process them tomorrow? I don't know. Man, I talk so much. I'm going to go cut some wood and make a chest and start to get a little bit organized. Okay, I've cut some trees. I've cleared some land. I've done a few things and I've got some, some spring onions on me in case I find the need to have some more energy. But it's eight o'clock. And we've got time to kill, so I want to do a little bit of nighttime foraging. Because why not? We've got the room for it now, and that's just so exciting to me. Oh, it's amazing. Is this a missing tile? I don't know what that is. It's very strange looking. Oh my gosh. We'll be paying a visit here tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, there's some stuff that's... Oh wait, that's a, that's a box, not a black hole. Thought it was a black hole. Or a black square, I guess, I should say. But yeah, I'm going to just continue foraging a little bit. And I guess clearing some weeds and stuff. Because I think there's... And this could be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure there's a finite amount of spaces that stuff can spawn. So if you've got weeds where something could be spawning, then you're missing out on those weeds. Which is a shame. But Oh, and I added the uh, fixed combat controls mod, which also affects other things so I can click and it changes which direction I'm facing and I can get fancy with it and like slide to the side which is awesome <laughs> I love it anyway what's up hat mouse hi oh pokey did you bring coins good me sell hats the suwester sounds like selvester but it's not I don't know where we get that hat from other than the hat mouse. I'm pretty sure you can buy it from Willy? Maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to continue foraging for a little bit. And I'll meet you guys back on the farm when we're done. Well, that was slightly disappointing. But to make up for that disappointment. Fireflies. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. They look so nice. And when you're just walking around, their little glimpses of light just dotted about the farm. And they light you up too, so you can go stand by a firefly and... I don't know, it's just, it's so immersive, and I love it. They're my favorites. I added a few critters to the game, and those are one of them. Obviously, the, um... The, what are they called? The mice that I added didn't quite make the cut, but... Those totally did. Oh, one wants to get inside, how cute. 
Anyway, I added another chest, which is totally not how I'll ever sort things. Uh, fishing, supplies, and mining stuff. <laughs> I would never put those together, but currently that's where we're at. And I guess bug meat and slime can go over there too. Just for the time being, until I get more stuff and have a chance to sort it better. But let's go to bed. Wow, excuse me. I had to burp like right as I said that, and that was like the last syllable I could get out before it happened, before the deed was done. Anyway, we should be waking up to a letter. Oh, it's another sunny day. I feel like I need to start checking my TV daily, which I haven't been doing the best job of, because then I won't miss the the um, the um recipes, which I already missed the first week. Oh, shame on me. This ends blah blah blah. Oh wait, for Fern Island? That's a different island than what it said previously. Cool. Current conditions this morning are clear and 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll be a little bit cooler tomorrow with a high of 56.7 and something else I don't care that much about. Perfect. Ah, ha, 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 ha. here it is. My sources tell me you've been poking inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake, in stone, in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius, wizard. Aha! It's so mysterious, even though we totally know who he is already. I think it's hilarious how you've got some mods that add different NPCs to the game, and there's actually a surprising few that just totally change the wizard, like, as a person. He's just, it's replaced with uh, a harvest goddess, or a female wizard, or, like, the list goes on. There's quite a few different things. And dang it, I should have sold those to Willy. Not Willy, Pierre. Oh, well, we're gonna go straight there. I don't know if he has ours. Actually, I think he totally does. Um, well... I already forgot to water my crops. Let me fix that, and then by the time I'm done with that, hopefully it'll be time to head over to the wizard. Okay. All oh, right, as the music fades out as well. Oh, it's adding to the mystery of the stone tower. Oh, what's up, wizard? How goes it? Ah, uh, come in. <gasps> I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediator between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred chip. You get the point. He's famous and a big deal, I think is the point. And you, Doc, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Yes, what about me? Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! Oh, my voice just cracked while doing that. It's the apple! You've seen one before, haven't you? I love the sound effects for this, it's cool. They call themselves... The Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. <laughs> I'm not sure why they moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. What about the thing I saw on the floor? Hmm? You found a... Golden scroll written in an unknown language? Yeah, remember it read Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Pew! I was early. Oh well. This is so creepy. He's got like an incantation on the floor, he's bubbling a cauldron. Yes, I've been in here plenty of times before, and I don't know why I'm just now really letting this sink in, but it, it's a little creepy. I found the note. What did it say? The language is obscure, but 
I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Mm-hmm. That happened. You can't take that back. You can't unhear that. Hmm. One with the forest? What do they mean? Is he trying to huff the cauldron? Aha! Come here! <laughs> Look at his eyes. It's like, oh my gosh. It smells so good. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Ah, yes. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Man, it, this is sounding so creepy when I say it the way I'm saying it. We meet a strange wizard. He tells us to drink something and we drink it. Would you get energy back from that? I did not notice that. All right. Time to trip. I love this so much. It's so trippy. <laughs> Visions of green and leaves and floating uprooted trees. It's beautiful. And then just losing all vision as you black out. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo Scrolls. The Junimos! Okay, well you know what we're going straight to do. The community center. I'll see you there. Okay. It's time. Time to see how difficult this is going to be. If you'll remember, I named my farm Fifi Farm for a reason. It's Tahitian for difficult. And this is why. <laughs> All right, spring foraging bundle. <laughs> For reference, the vanilla spring foraging bundle is one wild horseradish, one daffodil, one leek, and one dandelion. But now we need five of each of those. In addition to five cave carrots, five salmon berries, five morels, and five spring onions. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take some time. This is one of those things I don't even know if I'll get it done in spring. Like. I don't know. A lot of this stuff, you're kind of intended. Well, maybe not intended, but most people are able to get them done in year one. And I might be able to, but cactus fruit? I don't think I'm getting to the desert by the end of summer. I mean, I might, but we'll have to see what that bundle entails. Because, oh gosh. All right, hold on. Uh, I'm going to start working on that, like, ASAP. Because I want to be able to see what other things are. And, oh crap, that means I have to, what do I need to do for that? Forage a bunch? I guess? And then morels don't really show up often. I'll have to do some mining for that. And you know what? Do we dare try to get another five levels in? We've got some food on us. Not that I plan on eating this, because this is important stuff for bundles. How did I almost miss that? I don't know. But I almost did. Oh, yeah. This, this just looks so good. And then we've got our route to the the railroad up here. I wonder if there's anything over here, too. Man, do we go mining today? No? Nothing at first glance? You know what? Screw it. Let's go mining. I, I want to do foraging stuff, but I mean, there's only so much foraging you can do in a day. Plus, I have yet to add the forage on the farm mod, which I plan on doing, which will allow forageables to spawn on my farm, which will be awesome. And probably necessary. And this is what I'm talking about. About, I don't mind, you know, adding in a few things here and there that make the game a little bit easier because I've already made it significantly harder for myself. 
<laughs> oh, I might come to regret that. Anyway, I am going to go mining, and I will see you in a bit. As per usual, enjoy this song. Goodness. Oh my goodness. I will never badmouth the rusty sword again because it sure as heck beats a scythe. <laughs> oh, I've done that before. I get all ambitious about mining in the early game and I forget that I need my sword to go mining. And that ends up happening. I, I was fine. I ran out of energy pretty bad there at the end, and I almost gave up. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I almost did, and then I, I backed out of it, and I pushed through. So, oh, that's a thing. Anyway, let me go ahead and sort my inventory real quick. Not that there's a ton to sort, but we're doing mining stuff over here. Boom, inventory sorted. That took a while. But we should have some spring onions, and five of them, and five daffodils. So now we can go ahead, oh, and not quite five dandelions, but there we go. That's two items for our bundle. I want to go ahead and turn them in real quick because, I don't know, it, I want to feel somewhat accomplished after that mining trip because it felt slightly uh, lackluster. Wait, what is happening? Oh, I love this cutscene. Some of the cutscenes of this game really make you end up feeling for the characters. Ugh. Sounds like those raccoons are back at it again. Or are back again. Filthy varmints. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Oh, I guess I could use my old man voice for this. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Maybe I won't do that. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Will do, George. Will do. Cue the sad music. It was me. I'm, I'm sorry. Linus. Man. He's got a flower crown, too. How cool is that? I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Man, you do you. If you're fine eating out of the trash, then, you know, more power to you. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? No. It's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Doc. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. I don't know if I'd say I feel good about it, but maybe I don't feel bad about it. Maybe that's the better route to take there. I don't know. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Maybe not through George's can, but... I 
I've never heard a trash can make that kind of noise while taking off the lid. Wait. He's so nervous. I know what you were doing, Linus. Ooh, there's a there's a daffodil. <laughs> if you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Gus is such a nice guy. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my mess in my spicy marinara. Are those like fried zucchini? Because that sounds delicious. Go on, take it. Okay. That sounds amazing. Gosh dang it, I'm hungry now. And I just ate lunch too. Why are we over here? Oh, I guess because that's where we came in from. But it did let me know where a forageable item is. And I need those. Not right now for this bundle, but I didn't even know stuff could spawn in here. Well, I guess it couldn't prior to the map opening up because that would normally be closed off, right? That's cool. Gosh, and I freaking love these stepping stones. I don't know how many times I've done this before, but I always come up and I go to the community center and realize, like, I way overshot and then have to shoot back over to the left to get back to it. These little stepping stones make it so much easier to see what's going on. Wait, it's Tuesday? Dang it. I missed Jazzercise today. Jazzercise is incredibly important to your health and well-being, and I missed it. Okay, and then I'm also super OCD about this, so for those of you that are as well, you're welcome. They have to match in position to where they are in the picture. They don't actually, but for me, they do. <laughs> so, they're going to. We should be able to get horseradish leek and dandelion done without much issue. Cave carrot might be a little difficult, and then salmonberry will just have to wait. But the morel, that will be a little difficult, I think. And we don't get access to any other rooms until we complete this. So, oh man. I'm going to have to make that a priority just to open up other things. Because I want to start, you know, seeing what kind of fish or what the fish bundles look like. Because if these are requiring not one but five of the normal items, in addition to five other items, what is that going to look like for fish? Like, the ocean fish is literally going to be everything you can catch from the ocean. Because there's not that many fish. I don't know. It's crazy. But, anyway, it's 11. Maybe I'll cut a tree and call it a night. I think that would be a good idea. Props to anyone who caught that joke. It was terrible, but it was there. I promise. One of these days, I need to stop getting lazy and cutting wood on my farm. And go off the farm into the forest to cut wood. Because like I said, I kind of like the overgrown look of the farm before it's all cleared out. Because I don't even need to keep this upkept. Stuff's going to keep growing and spawning and stuff. So, also this is bothering me. So let's fix it. But ladies and gentlemen, that's our last day here. And with a tap of a button... Everything is stored away, good to go, and we're in bed by midnight, or 12.01, which is close enough. I think I sold... Oh, sweet. Scythe combat. This should be replaced with a picture of a scythe, like, cutting a slime open. Sturdy ring. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the screen, guys. We got a moon up in the top. We got no line at the bottom. It's beautiful. 263, that is not great, but we'll, we'll get there. We will get there. Making money is not, like, the creme de la creme of my priorities. I will need to try my hardest to make it more of a priority, though. Because I'm going to need a lot of my dog. Dog. Ladies and gentlemen, we will get to the dog next episode, because... This will be happening at the start of next episode. So get excited for the dog. I went with the pointy ears, by the way. I didn't want to go with the other ones because, I don't know, this one just looks fitting for my taste. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope I will see you next episode where we really, you know, I don't even know what I'm gonna, what I'm saying here. But we'll do things next time, and hopefully they're entertaining things, productive things, and... Well, there'll be things. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for watching. I will see you in the next one. 
And until then, as always, take care.